turning now to local races and change coming soon to Baltimore City Hall. Brandon Scott will be the next mayor. He declared victory last night, calling it the honor of a lifetime. And he was back at work this morning. WJZ investigator Mike Halgren is live at City Hall. Mike. Lynn and Tim, after a long night, Scott was back before the Board of Estimates approving a number of measures, including more than $2 million to settle lawsuits related to the corrupt gun trace task force. Now, he will usher in a new era at City Hall come December with new people leading the City Council President's office and Comptroller's office as well. Baltimore, our city has voted for a new way forward. The call in this race came early. Brandon Scott, a Baltimore native, will be one of the city's youngest mayors. He spoke about the challenges ahead, including remembering those who've died from violence. This year alone, we've lost 278 people to violence and far too many to overdose in Baltimore. My eyes are open about the city I'm prepared to lead, where we have lost 466 friends and family members to COVID-19, and our cases are rising. Good morning and congratulations. Scott was back on the job this morning heading a meeting of the city's spending board. He has already named a nine person transition team that includes author Wes Moore and former Baltimore Raven Tori Smith. Scott promised an honest administration. Ethics are important to many voters after scandal ended two prior mayoral administrations in the past decade. Our city has been on a difficult and bumpy path but isn't destined to always be that way. But you can't fix something that you don't understand. And the business of Baltimore never stops. There's a protest or demonstration going on behind me right now regarding pollution in the city. Now, we are told that Scott will be sworn in December 8th and the new city council members on December 10th. Reporting live at Baltimore City Hall this noon, Mike Helgren, WJZ. Thank you, Mike. And in the race for Baltimore City Council President, State Delegate Nick Mosby declares victory. He tweeted out this photo, writing, The new Baltimore City Council, I look forward to serving with these amazing men and women. Congressman Kwasi Mfume wins re election, keeping the seat he earned in a special election in April. Mfume ran against Republican Kimberly Klasik in the 7th Congressional District race. The 72 year old holds on to the seat long represented by his late friend Elijah Cummings and by Mfume for 10 years before that. Klasik congratulated him, telling him to prepare to be held accountable like never before.